be it as essay this is high priestess ashodara singh welcome viewer this whole spread is for the week of april 2024 we have the central theme we pulled out three cards um, that's going to be the first part of the video the second part is going to be the general predictions that's this deck here the uh, this lot of cards is going to be for health this will be for wealth and this will be for relationships of course this is a new spread you know we like to mix it up a little and this is for anyone who's watching this video uh, you the viewer having said that this is a general prediction okay so take it as it comes take what resounds with you and leave what doesn't right here on this beautiful emerald green table of mind remember emerald green also happens to be the year of the dragon uh, which is this year 2024 all right let's begin with the central theme um, I'm going to move these cards so that it's easier to see. We have the new moon in Cancer, which says you and your loved ones are safe. Uh, the four of Earth, or the four of coins, and the soul guardian. Let's do this first. The new, new moon is uh, going to be on April the 8th, which will be very close to the first week. Let's assume it's the first week of uh, April itself. This is when there is something that is going to happen that is, go that is going to make you feel a little underconfident in terms of the safety of your loved ones, somebody you care about, or people that you care about, could be friends, family, uh, you know, a close uh, person in your life or persons in your life. And this is when uh, the message is meant for you. Don't worry, they are or will be safe. Okay, don't overthink it. Don't stress yourself on it. It's a good card. Right, um, the Four of Earth or the Four of Coins speaks about uh, you being uh, involved in property, in your own property. This could this could include uh, buying, selling, uh, renting, leasing, refurnishing, refurbishing, anything to do with your property. Uh, and it also could involve taxes, right? Um, you could also be too uh, frivolous or too casual. Um, or too cautious with your money, which means you're not being able to balance out whether you are going to be, whether you need to save or spend, you know, you could just be an impulsive buyer or you could be stingy or miserly in terms of your money, okay? Um, Business-wise, you will be taking good business decisions, so that's a good one. And uh, if you are going to give to the ones who are less fortunate, please remember, uh, be choosy who you're compassionate with. I'm very, very, very clear about that, and so should you. And the last card, as a general theme for the first week of April, you've pulled out the Soul Guardian. I love this card because it has so many facets to it. We are talking about um, not just the Guardian Dragon here, but also the connection that the Guardian Dragon has with your soul, not just the mind and the body. We're talking about all the three, mind, body, and spirit. So there is definitely your guardian dragon that will be directing you, that will be advising you, that will work through your conscience, that will work through your gut. So don't fail to ignore it. Choose to listen to it and you will not regret it. Okay, that's for sure. Also remember that this is something um, that is applicable not just to us in this week, but in general in life because whenever you don't listen to your instinct it automatically boils down to you not being able to take the kind of decision uh, that is non-regrettable okay ultimately it'll always boil down to i should have listened to myself and because of that um you know and i should have listened to what my my the my gut was saying so and that's why i'm stressing on these cards not that the other ones aren't important but when we talk about a soul guardian it could also be uh, a, an, an ancestor who's passed away but is watching over you like a spirit guide and uh, also the most important thing is that you remember uh, is that that you're being watched over taken care of all right let's move to the uh, next set of cards here we are talking about the general what's going to happen uh, in the week in general okay so you've pulled out the chariot card the Temperance card, the Queen of Swords, and the Tower card, three out of four, which means you have received the blessings of the angels for sure. All right, 
Um, let's take the first one. Could be a Cancerian or dealing with one. That's what the Chariot card says. This card also means that if you are looking at forward progressive movement in any aspect of your life, then you are uh, going to be able to uh, achieve that only if there is a balance in the light and the dark, the yin and the yang, the active and the passive. What does that mean? That means you should know when to act, when to be quiet, when to be, you know, passive, when to be active. So these choices are made mostly by us. If we quieten ourselves down and instead of reacting, instead of being impulsive, you listen to your gut, you listen to your inner self. And if you actually ask yourself, what should I do? There'll be a tiny voice which gets louder over a period of time. The more you listen to it, the more confident it gets. And then you'll be able to move forward. That's ultimately what this card means, okay? Temperance. It had to be this card, isn't it? So this could this means that you could be a Sagittarian or dealing with one. This card also means that the balance in your life that you seem to be, you seem to need to achieve right now is right here to tell you that please strike it and strike it now. In other words, there is something in your life which is disbalanced. It could be that you're working too hard. It could be that you're overthinking and not being able to achieve things because you're overshooting on the time that is required for you to work. Instead, you're thinking and you're creating stress boundaries, right? Uh, there might be a situation in your family or in your professional life and uh, you're thinking so much that it's not being able to... Uh, the rest of by the time you reach the point of action you're exhausted right health could also be an issue here um maybe you're not getting enough sleep maybe you are using too much of social media maybe you are um you know doing something in excess because of which it's taking away time from something that could cause this disbalance and you'll know best what it is all right so this one is the queen of swords don't go by the gender you could be a male also this card means that you could be a gemini or dealing with one this card also means that you're being a little stern as compared to your normal self and you're doing this because this particular thing this particular aim that you're working towards is something which you are accountable for you will be held accountable for and because of that you are uh, being a little more stern a little more sword you know swishing as compared to earlier don't worry people are not going to judge you because of this it's because this aim this this thing that you're working towards is something that you are answerable uh, for that you're working in a in a more strict and stern manner so let it be don't think too much about it it's all right just get the job done okay and the last card for uh, the general reading for this week um, viewer you pulled out the tower card the tower card is actually a card that I call a challenging card because we don't like to say things like problems. We like to say, or issues, we like to say challenges because it's really all about your perspective. How do you see it? So something that you were expecting to end will end earlier than what you were expecting. Having said that, there are people who will be dependent on you to be that strong rock, to be their shoulder, to be there for them when they feel like the ground has uh, started shaking beneath their feet that is when you need to prove yourself you need to you need to tell yourself that there are people who depend on me or I need to do this not just for me but for the people who depend on me do whatever it takes but start walking don't stay static don't stay stagnant start walking and uh, you will come out of this much more stronger and much more experienced all right let's move to the next one and the next one, the next deck is health. So you've pulled out the Empress card, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Empress card again. So I'll double this up here, right? So these two, okay. Now you know very well that if there are more than one cards, that means the universe wants you to sit up and pay attention. So I'm looking at a lot of feminine energy here for you in the first week of April, viewer. Now, remember, this deck is going to explain about your health. The first thing I'm going to do is tell you that, well, if you, if you are planning to have a baby, then now is the right time. You will be a little more concerned about the home front because 
there is going to be some something um, um, to do with the health of the women in the household right that's one um, maybe they're working too hard maybe you're making them work too hard I don't know what it is but um, and it could be that that could be an issue okay in terms of health it is also possible that um, there will be certain moments where you will have to withdraw from a situation because uh, for example I'll give you off late I'm getting a lot of this uh, from uh, many people who get in touch that I started with a headache and I checked the net and I found that a headache could also mean some serious illnesses what happens in the process is it does create a pocket of fear in the mind of the person and that could also escalate increase to a level uh, where other things happen blood pressure goes up you know or um, you, you start feeling faint you start feeling that you can't breathe so on and so forth so your mind starts playing tricks on you and the physical part which starts acting like breathlessness you know high BP what happens is uh, you start believing that it's actually true okay um, and then you go to a person and that person says oh this is definitely happening to you so please go for a checkup ideally you should go for a six month medical checkup um, I, I would definitely recommend it for everyone go to a place that you trust so that at least you're on top of your game I think some of you are also overworking yourself you're not getting enough rest when it is time to rest I think you are uh, on social media or trying to catch up with people in weekends when you should be resting you're going for parties it, um, uh, you know um, that could be one issue and because your body is not being able to recover from it it's uh, something which I am not um, you know sure what it is because obviously we're all unique I can tell you about me uh, weekends is when we do dragon spells weekends is when we uh, you know we burn the midnight lamp because dragon spells happens after 6 30 p.m. But uh, for you as a regular person and you have office hours or you're in business, you should take some time to rest because this card means that either you're ignoring something which is priority or you are um, doing something uh, more than what you should because of which you're lacking rest. Okay, so that's your health. Now for the wealth aspect, let's see. You have the three of cups the temperance card has come again the six of wands well that's a good spread and the eight of wands well then so these are all very very good cards first of all I'm going to tell you that this is a card of victory so if you were um, if you have the, if you've applied for a tender job promotion job if you're if you're job hunting um, any particular position uh, if there is uh, any business thing that's happening you know um, investment or uh, you want to start a business or diversify then that's a it's a very good thing you'll definitely get good news about it and it looks like this news is already in its way um, and you might be getting very good news because of which you will be celebrating your vibes should remain high now this temperance card has come again it came in the general theme it's come again you could be a Sagittarian, yes, or you could be dealing with one. But this card also means that this balance could be vibrational, which means although you have high hopes with this money-related professional aspect of your life, viewer, you have to ensure that your vibes are high so that you can match it. That's very, very important. Um, we do have uh, dragon spells for switching vibes, which means... It'll match any anything positive that's coming into your life and not let you be negative, not let you think negative. And it's it's awesome. We do it all the time. Um, and of course, you can you can try some self positive talk. Uh, you can also try some of our limited edition um, obelisks. They are available uh, in India. We can courier it in India. Uh, we have dragon wands. We have spell casting wands, and uh, we have tarot wands. Okay, so. The effect of all of that is to ensure that it takes away anything which is negative in your life, okay? But remember, it's just within India and, of course, we have a limited edition of them, okay? So that's your wealth. So I hope it's very clear. 
there is definitely something worth celebrating that's coming your way this victory is going to be something you're going to party and you know probably open your champagne bottles for it's it's coming very swiftly it's halfway near the turning of your house but this is the most important card you need to keep your vibes high to invite this good stuff that's coming towards you and the last deck we have is for relationships so you've pulled out the sun card wow the ace of swords the king of coins the king of pentacles and the page of swords three out of four is not bad at all all right so um in a relationship if you uh, are wondering like for example do you want to have do you want to cry for a baby the answer is yes because that's what the sun card is here to say if you're thinking about proposing to somebody or carrying a relationship forward the sun card is here to say yes please go ahead um the ace of swords says that you have to make this particular move that you're thinking about now in terms of your relationship and only if you make the move now will you be able to enjoy the fruit in terms of victory in terms of the movement happening in your favor right um king of coins uh, so there is masculine energy i see more than feminine so you are going to have an active uh, relationship life um uh, in the first week of april viewer and the energy that you'll be getting uh, you might be a little impulsive you could be a little harsh you might say something that you'll regret later don't do that um and again when i say impulsive i say impulse that you're reacting somebody has said something and you didn't like it no problem not everyone is going to dance to your tune it's all right what do you need to do you need to take a step back you need to take a couple of deep breaths open your fists and then address the situation but immediately if you respond it respond it might be something that might put you in bad light um somebody with money um could be of concern to you um you know uh, or you might think that there is a person who's very money minded um maybe somebody you're related to or somebody you know and you may start judging that person and you may even have um uh, some kind of an envious jealous thing going on with that person okay or if you are this person then there is somebody who might be attacking you who might be attacking your money who might want to uh, want to see you without your money so okay let me see what happens if he doesn't have that fancy car or that fancy watch or that fancy mobile phone okay so you never know um, uh, who it is of course if you want to have a reading done you know where to find us uh, personally again i will not do your readings but what i will do is forward you to one of our readers who is going to ensure that you have uh, all the clarity and direction that you require okay so um that's all i have for you as a general uh, weekly predictions including the health wealth um relationship and the general aspect uh, of this uh, week till april 8th i will see you in the next couple of videos until then love light and knowledge to you all be at us sa and om sarve bhavantu sukhinam